up YouTube it's another video and uh, another update uh, and also answer a few questions that I got posted about my mods to this car so far so last week I posted the video of me putting the catalyst mid pipes on and then took the car to the track for test and tune on Wednesday night uh, it did not run very well 1235 uh, 178 60 foot so the DA and I'll post a screen grab of that was a little bit higher than the week before when I went to test the springs but I had a strong headwind at the track and the barometric pressure was not very very good it's not in my favor so all those things added up to me being about two miles per hour off on my eighth and my quarter mile mile per hour so so all those things added up on it not being a very successful test but it's still good information uh, 178 60 foot it's in line with where it was it's not quite the gain I thought it would be but I feel confident that it'll come down to one sixes when the weather turns so I'm not too worried about it so we'll cover the mods on the car let me pop the hood for you so the mods on this car are painting which is, doesn't do anything a strut tower brace which doesn't do anything for performance the first thing I got on this car was this cold air intake I got that three days in um, oil catch can again doesn't add performance so just it's more of a cosmetic thing um, the only real performance modifications to this car are the springs which you can see there front and back but you can't see the pipes which you saw me put on and then there's the MFR one active exhaust delete which is not really a performance thing that's more of a I don't want to call it cosmetic because it's not cosmetic you can't see it but it's a sound thing it sounds so much better because the active the active exhaust is on all the time and then that's it oh and the tires drag radials which was probably the I think the biggest performance modification on this car to be honest uh, this knocked I'd say four tenths of a second off the quarter mile went from a well maybe three tenths went from 1220 to 1190 so that's the biggest performance mod. I think because I haven't had the same weather I had when I ran the 1190 that the Catless mid pipes and the springs will help get I think 11 high 117 or a low 118 is my thinking. But that's pretty much it. And then just for shits and giggles we're going to do a cold start. to 20 miles per gallon driving the car before I had the catless mid pipes and that's me kind of grandma driving it also because I have a certain insurance company that has one of those little beacons in the car to make me behave but also it saves me 
about 600 bucks every six months on insurance because I had one accident two years ago. Anyways, um, so I kind of got a baby around, but ever since I put that those catless mids on, and it's only been a week, I'm getting about 15 to 16 miles per gallon, mostly because I can't keep my foot out of the gas because just I, I can't get enough of the sound of this thing. So that's pretty much the the gist of this car it's stock it's going to be stock for a while um warranty being what it is i don't want to jeopardize you know blowing this engine up and then not having them put a new one in it before it's time so because i'm not exactly being nice to this car so when when i'm close to the warranty expiring then i'll throw a cam or nitrous one or the other i can't figure out which or maybe both who knows but for now it's going to stay stock what what mods are on it are on it and i'm going to add the drag springs not the drag springs but the drag shocks that i wanted to put on those are going to go on probably in the next week or two there's a big mopar drag racing event at gateway international which is now worldwide technology raceway gateway so yeah i want to try to get those shocks on there before that and see how she does so hope you guys are enjoying these videos and uh, if you like them subscribe and uh, yeah I'll try to keep posting videos peace out